everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we'll be taking a look at our replacement spine assembly for your Yakima hold-up bike rack right here at eTrailer. So you have your Yakima hold-up bike rack and what's pretty cool about that bike rack is it's tried, tested, and true. It's been around for a while. It's gone through some different iterations. So in this video, I'll explain how to replace the spine assembly and why you might need to, and just to see if you have the right bike rack for this replacement part. So the different bike racks you may have is there's the Yakima Holdup and the Yakima Holdup Evo. What we're gonna be talking about is the Yakima Holdup. And if your bike rack is gray, then it's a different version as the slightly older one. And if it has a black finish like this, this is the exact replacement part you need. Also, if you have the Yakima Holdup for an inch and a quarter hitch, which has an inch and a quarter shank, you can use this assembly in order to convert it to fit into two inch hitches. And if you wanna use an add-on, you're gonna need the whole assembly just like this. So compared to just replacing the shank, which is I know what some people do, this replaces your spine as well. So if you want to use the Yakima Holdup Plus 2, which adds on two bike racks to your current bike rack setup, this is what it uses since you can see how it replaces the spine and gives you that platform as well as that stability to work with your multiple bikes. So what's included and what do you need to bring for yourself? So what's included with this is the spine assembly. So that's from your red bottle cap opener to the end of the shank. It also includes the bolt that holds the spine and the shank together. What's not included is gonna be your bright red and silver spring pin, as well as your anti rowel bolt and the tools you need to install. So if let's say you cross threaded your anti rowel bolt right over here, that's something you're gonna have to get separately here at eTrailer since just replacing the shank is not gonna fix that. But you might also need to replace your bolt in case the threads are not good. So the tools I use are the 24 millimeter wrench. That's what I use to tighten this down as well as our spring pin down and the hex tool for your spine assembly. So let's take a look at that install process. So I'll guide you through the replacement process of your spine. This may look slightly different if you had the inch and a quarter version and you're just upgrading to a two inch version. But I took off the shank on our older bike rack so you can see how that's kind of used. We still have the spine on our old bike rack, but we also have all the tools that we need. So we will start by using our hex wrench to loosen the bolts that are holding the spine. So there's gonna be eight bolts right over here that need to be loosened. So that's one, two on each side. So four for each tray. So just loosen all those bolts with the hex wrench that you got from your original bike rack. So with all eight bolts released and set aside to be used again later, you can then lift the spine up off of your bike rack. So you may need to move the arms just to get yourself some clearance and make sure they're out of the way. So this should just lift up and off. So now we're gonna replace this with our replacement spine. So what I could do is just the process in reverse and now put the trays or the spine onto the trays, but just to make my life a little bit easier, I'm gonna put this into the hitch receiver and start from there. So this is just gonna fit into our hitch receiver. You're gonna to have to use a two inch hitch receiver for this one and then tighten it down with the anti-rattle bolt. So just fit your tray into place and with them all loose, you can actually slide this back and forth. You may have to lift up as you put those bolts in. One thing to also notice is how I have the back tray on. That's the tray without any Yakima stickers on it. And I also have it with the front wheel facing my left and the rear cradle facing my right with the front mount all the way out so it's not in the way. Now, now tighten everything down with your hex tool once you have it in the position you want it to be. So once you have all your bolts tightened down and everything looks nice and good, you can now start putting the cradles back or you're pretty much ready to load your bikes because that's it for the install. So again, just make sure to confirm that you have the right bike rack and that you're getting the correct replacement part for you. 
make sure to check out our product pages here at eTrailer where we verify which bike rack web SKUs you can use and which parts you need for those different hold up iterations. So hopefully this helped you out with figuring out if you can upgrade your inch and a quarter hold up bike rack or if you can replace it. And that was a look right here at our replacement spine for your Yakima two inch hold up bike racks right here at eTrailer. My name is Evangeline and I hope you enjoyed the journey.